Ash Barty versus Bianca Andreescu is the ladies' final for the Miami Open for 2021, and both players have had to fight to get to the final. The world number one Barty started her week off with a bye in the first round, but in her second round match, she had to play the qualifier, Kukova, and after winning the first set, found herself in an absolute battle, winning in three, six, three, four, six, seven, five, after saving match points. In her third round match, she took on fellow French Open winner, Ostapenko, getting through that match in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In her fourth round, another Grand Slam champion to face in Victoria Azarenka. And after a stumble in the second set, Barty got through in three, 6-1, 1-6, 6-2. In her quarterfinal match, she was up against one of the best players of 2021, Sabalenka. And again, after losing the second set, she came through in three, 6-4, 6-7, 6-3. In her semifinal against the number five in the world, Svetlina, Barty played her most impressive match of the tournament, beating the fifth seed in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. The number eight seed, Andrescu, is found some form this week, and after having a bye in the first round, she took on Martin Kova in the second round, getting through her in straight sets, 7-6, 6-2. In her third round match, she took on number 28 seed, Anissimova, and after losing a close second set, she eventually got through in three, 7-6, 6-7, 6-4. In the fourth round, her biggest test of the year against one of the most informed players, Muguruza, the number 12th seed. And after a slow start, Andrescu looked very impressive, coming back from a set down, 3-6, 6-3, 6-2. In her quarterfinal, another tough three-setter against another informed player, Tormo. And after losing the second set, Andrescu recovered and won in three. 6-4, 3-6, 6-3. In her semi-final, Andrescu had to take on number 23 seed Sakari, who was coming off a big win against the number two seed Osaka. And this match turned into an absolute epic, with Andrescu sneaking out the tiebreaker in the third. 7-6, 3-6, 7-6. In her quarterfinal match, Barty hit 28 winners and 28 unforced errors and converted 5 out of 14 break points and will need to take her chances against Andrescu's heavy hitting. In her quarterfinal match, Andrescu hit 22 winners and 46 unforced errors against Sakari and converted 4 out of 8 break points and also spent 2 hours and 42 minutes on court. So she'll have to limit the errors and try and play shorter points if she's going to beat Barty. So both players have had to fight to get to the final. It's been a very interesting tournament with a lot of upsets. The number 1 versus the number eight seed. It's going to be interesting to see how they do. And this one's tough to pick because both players are playing so great right now. But I think I'm going to have to go with Barty just based on the fact that she hasn't played as much tennis leading into the final as Andrescu has played. She's played so many epic matches on Andrescu over the last couple of matches. So I'm going to go with Barty in a three-set match. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this final?